Anurag Saxena, Head of Department of Neurosurgery at Manipal Hospitals, Dwarka. Today we are going to talk about neuroendocrine tumors. As the name suggests, this kind of tumors arise from cells which are neuroendocrine in nature, which means they have traits or characteristics of both nerve cells as well as endocrine cells, which means the cells which produce hormone. So these kind of tumors can produce hormones and can cause problems. Now they can occur in any part of the body. Uh, they can occur in your GI tract, pancreas, lungs. They can also uh, be found in uh, CNS systems like brain and spine. And their symptoms largely depend on their location and whether they are producing any hormone or not. So on location, you can have a lump in your abdomen. You can have headaches. You can have uh, pain in your abdomen. You can have weight loss. The symptoms which are related to hormone production by these tumors are increased loose motions, flushing and symptoms of increased headache, muscular headaches and so on and so forth. The diagnosis of this kind of tumors largely depend on uh, imaging modalities like PET scan and MRI scan, CT scans. At the same time, blood tests are done to uh, know whether these tumors are producing any sort of hormones which helps us to detect what kind of tumor it is and help us to devise a treatment plan for this kind of tumors. The treatment of neuroendocrinal tumors likely depend on the location as well as the extent of the spread of this kind of tumors. But the mainstay of this kind of tumors is surgery. The goal is to remove them completely. If not, then there are other therapies available like chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Currently targeted therapy is, is the latest modality which we are using which uses special therapies to target the tumor cells and obviously because they target only the tumor cells the risk and the complications of this kind of therapies are minimum. I hope this video was helpful to give you the required information for this kind of tumors. Thank you.